Hello everyone. Welcome to our new session on understanding QRadar flows and internal and external flow source. Let's get started. QRadar flows represent network activity by normalizing IP addresses, ports, byte and packet counts, and other data, into flow records, which effectively are records of network sessions between two hosts. The component in QRadar that collects and creates flow information is known as QFlow. QRadar flow collection is not full packet capture. For network sessions that span multiple time intervals, in terms of minutes, the flow pipeline reports a record at the end of each minute with the current data for metrics such as bytes and packets. You might see multiple records per minute in QRadar with the same first packet time, but the last packet time values increment through time. A flow starts when the flow collector detects the first packet that has a unique source IP address, destination IP address, source port, destination port, and other specific protocol options, including 802.1 QVLAN fields. Each new packet is evaluated. Counts of bytes and packets are added to the statistical counters in the flow record. At the end of an interval, a status record of the flow is sent to a flow processor and statistical counters for the flow are reset. A flow ends when no activity for the flow is detected within the configured time. Let's understand the architecture. Just observe the image on right of the screen. The flow collectors connects to various tapping points, like, switch, span port, firewalls, Unix servers, etc. The flow collector generates flow data from raw packets that are collected from monitor ports such as spans, taps and monitor sessions, or from external flow sources such as NetFlow, SFlow, JFlow. This data is then converted to QRadar flow format and sent down the pipeline for processing. The flow processor runs the following functions, that are, flow deduplication, asymmetric recombination, license throttling, and forwarding. Let's now discuss various types of flow sources. IBM QRadar QFlow collector can process flows from multiple sources, which are categorized as either internal or external sources. Let's first discuss internal flow sources. Sources that include packet data by connecting to a span port or a network tap are considered internal sources. These sources provide raw packet data to a monitoring port on the flow collector, which converts the packet details into flow records. QRadar does not keep the entire packet payload. Instead, it captures a snapshot of the flow, referred to as the payload or content capture, which includes packets from the beginning of the communication. Flow collection from internal sources normally requires a dedicated flow collector. Next, we have the external flow sources. QRadar also supports external flow sources, such as routers that send NetFlow, SFlow, JFlow, and Packeteer data. External sources do not require as much CPU utilization to process so you can send them directly to a flow processor. In this configuration, you may have a dedicated flow collector and a flow processor, both receiving and creating flow data. Let's discuss the details of flow types. First we have NetFlow. NetFlow is a proprietary accounting technology that is developed by Cisco Systems. NetFlow monitors traffic flows through a switch or router, interprets the client, server, protocol, and port that is used, counts the number of bytes and packets, and sends that data to a NetFlow collector. Next, we have SFlow. SFlow is a multi-vendor and user standard for sampling technology that provides continuous monitoring of application-level traffic flows on all interfaces simultaneously. Next, we have JFlow a proprietary accounting technology used by Juniper Networks that allows you to collect IP traffic flow statistics. JFlow enables you to export data to a UDP port on a JFlow collector. Using JFlow, you can also enable JFlow on a router or interface to collect network statistics for specific locations on your network. Next, we have IPFIX. That is, Internet Protocol Flow Information Export, an accounting technology. IPFIX monitors traffic flows through a switch or router, interprets the client, server, protocol, and port that is used, counts the number of bytes and packets, and sends that data to a IPFIX collector. Next, we have Packeteer. Packeteer devices collect, aggregate, and store network performance data. 
After you configure an external flow source for Packetier, you can send flow information from a Packetier device to IBM QRadar. And, the last on our list is Flowlog file. A Flowlog file is generated from the IBM QRadar flow logs. I hope the video was useful. Please subscribe to stay on top of all the upcoming videos. Please email us your topic if you want us to make a video on it. Thank you and all the best.